wake up from a sleep, but you're not, your brain hasn't fully clicked into reality yet. So you're somewhere in this weird medium. It's a very strange place to be, I will say that. Apparently it's more likely to happen when you're like sleep deprived, like when you're probably exhausted, or when you're like really hungry when you're asleep or like really thirsty. It first happened to me when I was about 15, and I actually didn't even know what it was at the time, so it was really scary. I was in my boyfriend's bed at his house, I think I'd been asleep for like 24 hours because we'd been on like some weekend bender. So I was probably, you know, exhausted. I hadn't drunk anything in ages because I've been asleep for so long. So I was asleep in my boyfriend's bed. And then as far as I was aware, I'd opened my eyes. I could see his room, I was looking around. I thought, okay, I'm awake. I went to move. And as I went to move, I couldn't move. So I'm thinking, what the actual hell, like you panic, obviously internally. So I remember I was going like this with my arms, trying to get up, but I could see my arm in front of me and it was just still, like this. So I was like this, but it was just still. I was like, what the fuck is going on? First thing I thought was, am I dead? The next thing I thought was, oh shit, because I could see my boyfriend next to me, like asleep, I could see his face sleeping next to me. And so I thought, shit, say if he opens his eyes and I'm just staring at him like this, paralyzed, that's gonna be really scary. Because I thought my eyes were open, I could see everything. So I was trying to jump myself out, remember I was shouting, but nothing was coming out of my voice box. I couldn't hear anything. I was, it was like you're trapped in your own body. I remember I kind of like jolted my body out of it. So I got out of it and I was fine. And I just thought, what the fuck was all that about? So obviously I Googled it and it's a thing, sleep paralysis, you're paralyzed. You can't move your body. You're in the midst of being awake in sleep. So apparently your eyes are actually shut during the whole time that you're having this trip and you'll see from what you're seeing is all just like a dream or and you're remembering what the room looks like from memory or whatever which is just fucked up and weird as it is it's just weird i find it bizarre so shortly after i'd experienced that one of my best friends started to experience sleep paralysis every single night so she had a bit of an issue with it like she feared going to sleep every night because it kept happening but when it would happen to her she would tell me things would come in the room so she told me that it would either be a long dark male figure where you couldn't really see his face and he would stand over her bed or she said it would be an old hag and she used those words old hag an old hag would come into her room while she was paralyzed and sit on her chest excuse me oh my god i can imagine how scary that would be to see something come in the room and you're not able to move like it could get all up in your face and she did mention as well that it seems to happen more when you're laying on your back so anyway, fast forward a year or so, my friend still experiences sleep paralysis, but not as much. She does experience it for maybe once a month, still quite regularly to be fair, but not every day like she did for that section of her life. I think she was going through like a hard time in her life at that point. So one day I was peacefully sleeping in my bed. At the time it was a bunk bed, so I was on a bottom bunk. I just want to set the scene for you exactly how it was. And I thought I'd woken up, okay? Just like last time. So I was just laying in my bed looking around my room. Everything just looks normal. But then I go to move and I'm stuck. So I'm doing that thing with my arm again where I'm going like this and my arm is just still and I thought, shit, and obviously I panic straight away. But then you remember, oh, hang on, this is sleep paralysis. But then something started to happen which I was not familiar with. So I felt at first a heavy weight on the bottom of my legs, um, on my ankles, like a a lot of weight, like someone was climbing on top of me, weight, right? So I was like, what the hell, obviously looking down at my legs, you try to say anything, nothing will come out. And then I felt a heavy weight here, like over my shoulder, and then it just went down my whole body as if a human body had laid on top of me. I could feel the presence of another person. I couldn't see anything on top of me, but a whole human was laying on top of me i could i could feel its presence i could feel the shape of its head laying on top of my shoulder it was heavy to the point where i was you know like gasping for air and i know it sounds so bizarre but i just knew in that moment that whatever was on top of me that presence that energy that weight was going to try to have sex with me i'm not joking it sounds so fucking weird but it's the truth right i just knew it in that moment i panicked and I could feel that that's what it was trying to do. That's why it was on top of me. It feels so real. I remember thinking in that moment, don't, when you wake up, don't ever let 
your rational mind tell you this wasn't real because this is so real. I remember thinking that at the time. At first I was, you know, fighting it off because I didn't really want this heavy weight on top of me. And then when I realised it was trying to have sex with me, I was like, uh, no, thank you, this is fucking terrifying. But as it was going on, I kind of felt that the energy was not that bad. And this is going to sound fucked up. But I just, in the end, I don't know how to say this. A few minutes in, I felt that the energy wasn't scary anymore. It was more comforting, if anything. And I was quite enjoying the presence laying on top of me. So in the end, I just gave in to whatever this thing was and decided, yeah, yeah, I'm about to have sex. And I let it happen. It was voluntary. You know, sleep paralysis. It most likely is me dreaming up this, do you know what I mean? This is my imagination creating this situation. Probably, maybe for it was for my own pleasure unknowingly. You know, I felt everything. I felt every it was as if I was having sex with someone there and then. So eventually, obviously, I broke the paralysis. I remember I just jolted myself out, out of it after a couple of minutes of sex with a sleep paralysis demon. I was like, okay, anyway, that was really real. I don't know what to make of it, but whatever. So I texted my best friend the next day, the one who always gets sleep paralysis, and I told her about what had happened. I said, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, I've had sex in sleep paralysis, and it felt really real, and I'm convinced that there was something having sex with me, like a ghost or a demon, or, or was it just my mind? I don't know, but it's, I'm very confused. And she proceeded to tell me that she does it all the time. <laughs> she said to me, Summer, that happens to me all the time. She said, I, you know, multiple times a month a sleep paralysis demon will come in my room and do stuff with me sexual things and i've just given she said i've just given up with it now i just let it happen and i was like what the fuck and you know i googled what does it mean when you feel like something's having sex with you in sleep paralysis and what i saw was disturbing so apparently there is a demon out there in the world this is like urban legend but it's all over the internet there's several stories from multiple women all over the world telling their story of what's happened to them but there's a demon and it's called the incumbus it gives me the shivers saying it but he he's known to have sex with women in sleep paralysis like what the actual fuck so i was reading all these stories online and they sounded exactly like mine and my friends so is it real? Is there actually a sleep paralysis demon that gets off on having sex with girls in their sleep paralysis and getting away with it because people just think that you're dreaming and that it's all in your head but really it's an actual fucking demon?